Yes, this is my thumbnail. <laughs> Hi everyone! Um, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so first thing first, I moved into a new apartment. Woo! I moved at the end of May, so that is literally why I only started working on this video literally like a month after the semester has ended. But you know what? Better late than never, am I right? Yeah! So today I'll be taking you through all the classes that I took in the spring 2021 semester and also finally revealing the grades that I took the grades that I got, not the grades that I took because I posted on my Instagram story um, a long time ago if you guys would be interested and some of you said that you are so here it is so welcome or welcome back my name is Fira and if you didn't already know I am a student at the University of California Berkeley or UC Berkeley I am a rising junior and my major is astrophysics before I start the video though, I do want to put in this disclaimer that I don't mean this video to just be me like flexing um, because like I did say earlier that a number of people on my Instagram did say that they want to see this video so that's why I decided to do it and I just thought that it'll be interesting to share some of you know my experiences with the classes that I took in Berkeley also just in case some of you are considering to go into Berkeley and you're curious to see what the classes are like I just want this video to be for informational and educational purposes only. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as an astrophysics major, most of my academic career revolves around astronomy and physics classes, of course, and also some math classes as well. But as the astrophysics major is under um, Berkeley's College of Letters and Science, I also have to take some classes that fulfill the seven breadth requirements of the LMS college. So in the spring 2021 semester, I took four classes. Um, each were four units, so I was taking 16 units worth of classes in total. And here are all the classes that I took at a glance. Alright, so the first one, let's talk about Mathematics 54, Linear Algebra and Differential Equations. So for this class, we have one and a half hours of lecture twice a week. So that's three hours of lectures per week. And then we had uh, weekly homeworks, weekly quizzes, two midterms, and a final. And I would say that this class was pretty fast-paced. Um, that's why like the professor actually assigned us chapters to read in the textbook that we had to do um, before the lectures. So it's a STEM class, but it has reading. I think the homework were pretty okay. And on the other hand, the weekly quizzes, they were pretty challenging. There were a lot of like conceptual questions rather than like computational ones. But I guess the bright side is that you're allowed to collaborate with someone on the quizzes. And I guess having like being allowed to collaborate makes it a little bit more bearable. And it's easier to like bounce ideas for the conceptual questions. Now the midterms were hard. They were very draining to work on. We were given like 36 hours to do it. But I actually think that that ends up with like harder questions on the exam because like we have more time to do it like the professor would always say like oh yeah don't worry like you're given 36 hours but realistically you can finish it in two to three hours but no never the case i always take the whole day and it's not just me literally every other person that i know in that class also thinks the same they all take the whole day to finish the midterms and it was the same case for the final we had 36 hours to do it but there are more questions but for the final we actually did have like a time portion um, in addition to the 36 hour one the thing for me with this class i think it was just i'm just not used with like math that's very conceptual because i don't know i think for me it was just um easier and like makes more sense how like calculus would would apply to like physics and like astronomy but i don't think i've just been exposed to how like linear algebra and matrices will be like useful if that makes sense i just don't think i've encountered an application for it yet 
but maybe in the future you know i'll know what to use this for and then i'll get excited about linear algebra <laughs> but yeah i guess overall it was okay i had a pretty good time so i would rate this class i guess an 8 out of 10 and finally the grades reveal drum roll please i got an a minus which i'm happy about all right, so next we have Astronomy 7b, Introduction to Astrophysics. And this class focuses on galaxies, um, black holes, dark matter, and cosmology, whereas the first part of the intro to astrophysics series, Astronomy 7a, focuses more on like stars and solar systems. Now, I might be biased, but I love this class. Similar to Math 54, we have three lectures with no three hours of lectures per week, uh, weekly problem sets, homework basically, which reviews the topics that were covered in lecture. Now, admittedly, the problem sets were pretty challenging. I'd say it can take me up to like six to eight hours to finish each of them. And I almost always go to office hours to get some guidance. But I will say that like going through that whole process really like helped me get a good grip of the topics and the materials. And then the midterms, um, the two midterms were timed. They were like one and a half hours long. And I'd say that they were also like pretty challenging, but they weren't like super hard. And they actually have like the same format as like our problem sets. So you kind of know like what to expect when you like start the exam. And then the final was three hours long, it was also timed and similar format to the midterms. You know, it wasn't like super easy, but you're also not like, what is going on? In my opinion, this class was just absolutely amazing. I enjoyed every moment of this class. The professor was also like so good at teaching and at putting the class together. So I'm just always so engaged and I'm always so excited to learn new materials in this class. And although the problem sets and the exams were pretty challenging, I'd say that they're actually like just the right amount of challenging that actually pushes me to like improve my astronomy knowledge like it wasn't super easy that I felt like I wasn't going anywhere but it was also not like unnecessarily hard and I guess for that reason I'm gonna give this class a 10 out of 10 and I'm probably biased I'm most definitely biased but like I just really genuinely enjoyed this class it was probably one of my favorite classes so far and I think it really really deserves that rating and well since I was very passionate about this class I worked really hard on all the problem sets and the exams I ended up with an A in this class which I am very grateful for and I'm very proud of myself for achieving that pat, pat, pat. <laughs> moving on we have anthropology 3AC which is Introduction to Social and Cultural Anthropology um, and I'm taking this for breadth and for the American cultures requirement. I think this class was pretty good. I think it covers a lot of like pretty interesting topics and it also um, covers like the basic concepts of anthropology. I would say one thing though, this class has tons of reading and it wasn't like weekly readings it was like readings that you have to finish before like each lecture and before each lecture you have to finish like one or more readings and so that was quite a lot in my opinion and the readings were also like pretty long like for me and you know as much as I enjoy reading for leisure reading for a class is just it's just different it's just not as exciting for some reason <laughs> and then for this class we have again three hours of lecture a week and then we have weekly reading reflections so that's why you kind of like always have to at least get an idea of what the readings are and then in the middle of the semester we have like one longer reflection essay that you have to write on like one of the longer readings and then we also have one midterm and one final assignment so it's not an exam it's more of an assignment and you're really given like a week to do these and let's just say i did not really enjoy these assignments 
for the midterm, you have to answer nine prompts. And it's not one of those things where it's, where it's like, oh, here, we'll give you a list of prompts and you just need to answer some of them. Like, no, you have to answer all of them. So it was a lot. And then for the final, we had to answer 12 prompts. And again, you had to answer all of them. And although we're given a week to do it, it's still like very, very overwhelming because like of course they're gonna assign these during like the usual midterm and final season while me on the other hand i'm just kind of like i have other classes that are more significant to my major that i need to prepare for like the exams and <laughs> i will say like to be fair um the questions on these assignments were doable they were just a lot yeah, it's just very tedious. Considering that I'm not much of a humanities major, I would say that like I struggled quite a bit in like the discussions and also the assignments in this class, but I still think that it's overall pretty interesting. And if you're someone who's like really interested in anthropology, maybe you're like an excited um, incoming anthropology major, I think you will really enjoy this class. So I'd say maybe I'd give this class a 7 out of 10 and you know since I mentioned earlier I was just taking this class for breath and for my American cultures requirement I decided not to take this class for letter grade I just took it passing a pass and I received a pass and then finally we have physics 7c which is physics for scientists and engineers and this class is the last class in the physics 7 series and this class covers electromagnetic waves optics relativity and i believe some quantum physics as well now this class was a quite a pain <laughs> most of the pain comes from um, questions on the exams that were much harder than the questions that we would see in like our homework and in our lab projects so most of the time we we're just not expecting all the things that were like thrown at us. Again, the same as all the classes that I took um, in the spring 2021 semester, this class um, consisted of three hours of lectures per week. We also have weekly homeworks that we have to do through this app, this website called uh, Mastering Physics. And I think those were okay. They were really doable. And then we also have six lab project but you know since it was online the lab activities were like pre-recorded by the TAs um, it was like a video of the TAs doing them and basically all we had to do was just like watch the videos and then analyze by watching the videos and then answer and calculate um, some things that are like in the worksheet that we were given and then we also get assigned like one challenge question that we have to do and do a presentation on like during our discussion section and that's only like one question per person throughout the semester I believe I got like a special relativity question and I will admit it took me some time to solve and for the exams we have one midterm that was two hours long and one final that was three hours long and let me tell you everyone suffered during the exams our class discord always goes off during exam season with just rants and like tears of people just like losing their minds over the exams this was definitely one of those classes where i was saved by the curve other than the exams though i actually like genuinely enjoyed this class i think the professor was great the topics were really interesting and he did like a really great job like breaking the topics down and also at providing extra resources and he's also like very patient with us he always like stops in the middle of lecture to like make sure if we have any questions or not and yeah i just think he's an amazing person the tas were also like super super nice and very supportive so yeah i would say like other than the exams it was actually like a pretty good time and with that i guess i would give this class uh 7.8 out of 10 <laughs> I, I could have given it an 8 out of 10 but like those exams question uh, <laughs> like I said earlier since I was literally saved by the curve in this class like I managed to 
barely get an A, <laughs> which honestly, like, I did not expect at all. But, you know, considering the fact that I do need to do well in this class for my major, I am extremely grateful that I could get um, a grade that's, like, really good. And I believe this is actually, like, the first time that, that I got an A in a physics class in Berkeley. So... And yeah, those were all of the classes that I took and my experiences with them and also the grades that I received the spring 2021 semester. Again, I really hope that I don't sound like I'm showing off in these videos, um, but I hope that, you know, these were useful and helpful for some of you. But if some of you do um, want me to share a bit more about like um, tips for studying and, pre and preparing for exams, um, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to make a video about that. And yeah, I guess that'll be all for now. Um, it's pretty awkward but also nice to finally start filming again. I've, I know I haven't been here for a pretty long time. But I'm, you know, I'm kind of thinking of the direction where I want to bring this channel, and yeah, I'm just excited to like get in the YouTube groove again. And yeah, with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.